Right now I am with uh, the Arjuna Awardee, uh, G.E. Shridharan Ji. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me time. So I will not introduce you more, because Arjuna Awardee is a introduction to you. But I still want to give you a little bit of an introduction. Thank you very much. Good evening to everyone. I am G.E. Shridharan, Arjuna Andronachari Awardee, as well as National Coach of the Indian Volleyball Team. I am really happy to be here for this 48th Junior Nationals conducted by the Jammu and Kashmir Volleyball Association uh, with the Jammu and Kashmir government and the Sports Council. You all know that here 52 teams are participating, 26 boys and 26 girls teams are participating from all over India. And then all the children in the age of 18 years, they are going to give that very good volleyball here. And we are going to select the players for the, uh, for the men team and women team for the Indian team, which is going to participate in the World Championship next year. Because World Championship, already the team has qualified. The 18, under 18, under 20 teams are qualified for the World Championship. From the under 18, next year under 19, uh, the chief coaches are sitting here for selection and all. They have a selection committee here. They are going to select the team for the next World Championship. Sir, thank you so much once again. I would say thank you for blessing our land uh, by coming here. But uh, let me ask you one more thing. How, uh, is this uh, the first time you are visiting Jammu and Kashmir or you have been visiting the state uh, in the past? Yeah, I, no, it's not just the first time. I am visiting second time here. First time I came for the senior nationals conducted here. I hail from Tamil Nadu. I came as a coach of the Tamil Nadu. We got a silver medal here. I know the hospitality of the Jammu and Kashmir people. And this year, really fantastic that the arrangements were made by the Jammu and Kashmir Volleyball Association, uh, giving the very good accommodation for the players and very good food because I also tasted the food today. It was fantastic. Seeing the merger of uh, youth here towards the cricket and football, uh, how do you see the, now the merger and atmosphere which is now building up towards this volleyball? Volleyball is everywhere famous because you all know that you can uh, say the cricket or football or whatever it is. Volleyball, how I can say, uh, in the world we have 222 registered countries no team is having except volleyball. And we are doing very good. Our team is a 64th position in the world, non-professional. And we have a very good volleyball in, throughout India. You take the, every village is having volleyball net and volleyball played by very small game. I, I feel that uh, even Jammu and Kashmir it's co will come up into the top level of the volleyball, Indian volleyball. Right now talking about the platform being provided to the athletes or sports persons in Jammu and Kashmir, how do you view it? Uh, do you see this uh, that, the, that the people, the youngsters who are seeing the future in volleyball, do you see that the resources that are being provided are enough or we need to improve them? No, it's always good that the, uh, many, many players are playing in uh, Jammu and Kashmir also. Now also one player got the Indian team into the Mannat Chaudhary. He got an uh, Indian Wonderful. team. He Wonderful. played in the Thailand ABC Cup. Wonderful. And before that we have Sakli and Tariq was there. He's also playing. Wonderful. Many boys are coming. Every boys are interested. Boys and girls are interested to play volleyball. Only thing we have to mold them. We have to make them good training and bring them up. Because you know that India, 36 teams are there. Throughout India, all the teams are top teams are there. Yes. When you participate in the top team, automatically you will improve. Sure. We that. have right now number of teams right now competing with each other and we have one player better than the other. But uh, how do you view it like uh, the players from Jammu and Kashmir, how uh, how do you view them They're competing with uh, the other teams and uh, what's their exposure, how's their uh, talent? Yeah. Are they compet competitive enough? No, no, no. They are competitive. Always competitive. Not now. I am talking about 15 years back also competitive. Now also competitive. Every Every team is good. Every team they prepared very well for the nationals. So they want to win the national. Every team. But unfortunately the exposure. Big exposure needed. We have teams sir coming from the northern part of yes. this state that is Ladakh. Uh, very far flung area and I was talking just uh, five minutes before with the players uh, there. Uh, they were saying that we don't have a specific court where we can pay, play volleyball. We just practice wherever we get a place. Uh, do you seriously think that we need to provide the platform to those players who are living in that far flung area? Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, Ladakh is now only registered with the Volleyball Federation of India. Now only, otherwise they are attached with the Jammu and Kashmir. Indeed. Now only they new, newly had built up their uh, team and their things and all. It will take time because everyone uh, want to offer them uh, good coaches or good training equipments and all. It takes very, it's not very easy, it takes time. It takes minimum of one or two years to develop themselves. I'm really happy that they are also participating here in the nationals. Even though they have a small uh, union territory, very small but sir, they are participating here sir, in future if uh, I would say we were, we would like to avail your services are you available for the <laughs> sports person from our state uh, sure I will be available if my time is there because I am busy with the Indian team as a national coach if I am really available sure I will come and work with the JNK it's nothing to do because everywhere I want to work Blessing over this part of land with your presence. Thank you for that. And uh, let me conclude this by uh, asking you a one more last question. And that's not uh, least important. That is, uh, now how do you view the atmosphere and this chilly weather here? See, uh, chilly weather, uh, you have to prepare that. For that, you have to come. When you are, If you are coming to the uh, Chennai, it will be very hot weather. So every India is one because our weather in the our mind only. If you want to come, we have to prepare and come. We prepared and come. I am really happy to see this weather. And the even players also, Tamil Nadu players also ready to play. Weather is nothing to do for the game. Only thing, your mindset. How you set your mind, you can be in the top. Thank you so much. This was G.E. Uh, Sridharanji, uh, Arjuna Dronacharya Wadi that was talking with us. Thank you so much for blessing us with your presence.